Ooh, look at us go, y'all. It's our last day with the Audi R8. And Devin and I are ready to take it fishing for the last time. We're on a time crunch. We literally have like an hour before we have to get this thing back to the owners. So we are strolling out of the neighborhood right now and headed towards uh, the area of the drop-off location. There's a pond right next to it that we are going to try and lay the hammer down. The Bass Forecast app, which we use and a lot of other people use, I think, to determine whether the bite is on on any given day, says that the rating is good. And uh, yeah, so we're pretty stoked, man. We are headed that direction. Don't want to get hit with copyright claims, so I'm gonna turn off the radio. And uh, I'll catch you guys at the ponds. We have two-piece rods in here, and we are ready to rock and roll. I'm curious if the fish will hit. This is a pond we've never fished, and I think there could be some sizable fish in here. I grew up in this area, and the pond has been here forever. And uh, so yeah, this could be this could be pretty fun. We'll go ahead and catch you guys there though. We gotta make this thing fast and get this thing back. This is a speed fishing challenge because literally if we don't have this thing back in a little over an hour with like a 25 minute drive just to get to where we need to go, uh, it's like an additional $300 for us. So we're gonna go ahead and do our best. Y'all, we are pulling up, and wouldn't you know, since I have not lived here in a long time, they've got a new development right next to the ponds, which is awesome. They've got a nice little parking lot right here, so we are Johnny on the spot. We still got like 45 minutes, actually. Yeah, little turn off the parking sensors. Lord, I valet I hear enough of that. Anyways, uh, we have 45 minutes, so we really have like 35 minutes because we got to allocate the last 10 to get to the gas station right here Just across the street from the drop-off location for the car now. It's beeping again My seatbelt's off, but I'm not moving. So let's go ahead and hit this pond man. I'm ready to fish and have some fun And this is nuts How clear is this? This place is crazy you guys crystal clear but it's very shallow and I don't see any bass. I'm coming over here to this inlet because this was like, this is like the spot. I'm gonna cast over there before I walk too close. Right where that water comes in, there's gotta be some fish ready to feed. There's bass catches here, but you can pretty much see everything in this pond. Like, I, I feel like I would see the bass. Well, y'all, I just lost it. Hey Siri, call hubby. Calling hubby mobile. Devlin's calling me, that side might be better. Hey, hey, what you got? Maybe come over here. There was a little baby bass in that school of bluegill. Was there really? <laughs> oh shoot. I might come over there to where you're at. Oh, who lives in a pineapple? We need to see. It appears as though we must re-rig. Let's do an Alabama call, crack and crawl. That sounds good. We ain't got time for this, y'all. Car returns at 12 noon. It is 11.30. I don't even have polarized glasses on and I can literally see the bottom all around this place. Super crazy. Oh, messed that cast up. Backlash is in the cold or the worst. Your fingers are dying. And I don't even know if I'm gonna get this out. It's a whale. I don't think that's coming out. Gotcha. Ah, fish on. Ha ha. Ha ha. Got one. Oh, Devin's got one on the drop shot over there. Oh shit. I got a fish. I got a fish. Heck yeah. I've been just trying to fix a backlash for like 10 minutes. Oh no. So today, whenever we got out of the truck, I was like, I'm just gonna commit to throwing the drop shot. One rod, one reel, one bait, maybe to get through the entire day. Wasn't even sure. We've never fished here. Uh, we fished on the other side for a bit. I'm sure Weston talked about it a little bit. Uh, it was super duper clear water. We saw a huge school of bluegill. There was one little baby bass I saw swimming in it. Uh, ended up making our way over here because all these reeds look super promising. I threw up in the reeds over here and I got a few nibbles and then ended up working my way over there, cast it over, threw in the reeds on that side, first cast, bringing it back just super duper slow, ended up getting this little guy. Dang. So we might've found it. 
Awesome. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water and see if we can't get any more. We're on a time crunch. Yeah, what do we have left? I don't even know we what got, time we have we left. We basically have 10 minutes. Yeah, we basically have 10 minutes. Because we got 20 so, minutes, but we got to fill it up. Soon. Yeah. So anyways. Oh, yeah, we do. Don't we? All right. Hurry up. Get him back in the water. Yep. Oh, he caught my oh. glove. <laughs> <laughs> he caught her glove. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. That was a triple backflip. All right. Let's get a couple more, maybe. Well, that's exciting because y'all know I can only cast like 30 feet now because I don't have much line. Oh, oh. Oh, he let go of it. I think I just had bites. Oh, more bites. He's got it. Oh, no. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Like, something just had that, though. Something was taking it. Wow. I think he'd go back. I wonder if that was a turtle. There's more over there. Get back in the water. I get. I got a bite though along there. Yeah, it was probably right about where you are. Oh, oh. What time is it? Oh. Ah! Let it stop. Stop. Leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Yeah, I pulled it. Damn. Yeah. I think, De I think Devin's got bites. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> A couple more minutes. <laughs> Holy crap, did I make that jump? What other way? Okay. <laughs> Good point. Last cast. Well, y'all, that about does it. We gotta wrap this thing up. We gotta go fill up this R8 and get it back to the owners. This has been a super fun time with this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos we made with it. And uh, yeah, we might just do some more exotic car content for you guys, some high-end vehicle content. Uh, and if you are interested in that, let us know down in the comments below. Right now, let's head over to the, I don't even know what gas station it was. Let's head over and get, fill this thing up. Like. Guys, we're back. We just handed over the keys to R8. Guys, we're back. We just handed over the R8 keys to the owner, and uh, we're about to head out of here in the pick em up truck. And we had a ton of fun with this thing. They were super cool about the entire experience. Uh, great people to work with. We'll go ahead and uh, put a link down in the description for how you can maybe rent from these folks. And then also, we're going to probably do a whole video on like if you wanted to rent through Turo, just because I know a lot of people are interested and curious what it entails. Is there like more hidden fees and all this other stuff? So we're going to do a video like that. But I'm just so thankful that Devin caught a fish for today's video so we can kind of put this one together for you guys. We didn't catch any monsters, no giant with the Audi R8 which was a bummer but we caught some fish and in the dead of winter that is good enough for us we had a ton of fun I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch y'all on the next one peace <gasps>